afternoon, Lindsay. Good afternoon, everybody. So there are the players. So the Emirates is ready. Derby day in London, although the journey between the two grounds is hardly quick. It's the 55th time the two teams have met each other. So it's an Arsenal team who have lost their last three games. The two here without scoring a goal against West Ham in the league and Liverpool in the cup. She's going to keep an eye on Kai Havertz, who's tall and rangy. It's on the back ball, and it's an Arsenal goal. And it's headed in by Gabriel. And that's exactly what they needed. Ten minutes on the clock. Arsenal get the early goal, and it comes from a central defender. Arsenal won. Crystal Palace nil. No. Lovely skill from Saliba. Always the calmest man in the place. That's not a very good clearance though from Raya. It's a better save though. And it needed to be. Jefferson Lerma hit it so well. Taken by Saka. Right under the bar. And it's another goal from a set piece for Arsenal. It was a brilliant ball in. Issues. And that should be straightforward for David Raya. Now look at this. Flooding forward. Jesus for Arsenal. Over it goes to Trossard. Chance for a third. Gets it. Leandro Trossard's goal drought is over. Arsenal make it 3 0. And that's how quickly they can hit you and hurt you. Brilliant counter attack from the Gunners. It's a hits it with power. Straight at David Ryer. I think either side that might have been a goal back. Now Martinelli. Bearing down on goal and scoring number four. Well, he's got a great personal scoring record for Arsenal against Crystal Palace. And he's come off the bench to put the icing on the cake on a very good day for Arsenal. Yeah, that uh, pleased for Martinelli because he's not had the same goal production this season as he had last season. But it could be their year. And here they come again. Martinelli's in again. Five. It's turning into a rout for Arsenal, and Martinelli backs a brace off the bench. 5-0, smiles on Arsenal faces, and this is getting heavy now for Crystal Palace. Yeah. Well, good evening, everyone. The city ground is colourful and noisy, as always, for the arrival of the two teams. The atmosphere here has been superb since Forrest were promoted back to the Premier League. It's Gabriel Jesus running through and from a ridiculous angle he finds the back of the net the flag stays down and Arsenal lead and there was no space whatsoever but somehow Jesus found some Forest Hill, Arsenal won I tell you what, we talk about set pieces and this is a throw in that Arsenal use a lot when they get a player beyond the back four poor play by the Argentinian is Jesus Plays it through now to Saka. Forrester open! And that's the second Arsenal goal. And you can trace it back to a horrible pass from Montiel. And they were punished emphatically by Bukayo Saka. It's 2 0. Yeah, we talked about that, didn't we? That if Forrest commit players forward, take more of a risk. Trossard skipping away there from Montiel, making room for the shot. Oh, that wasn't far away. Caught it sweet as you like towards Montiel, headed on then towards Awini. It's going to fall for him in there, he's got one! Well, maybe there is still life in Nottingham Forest. Two minutes to go plus stoppage time, and Tywo Awini back from injury and back with a goal. I'll tell you what, he did brilliant there, but it didn't look like there was any danger whatsoever. And there will be satisfaction mixed in with relief down there for Mikel Arteta because Arsenal get the victory, a goal and an assist tonight for Gabriel Jesus, the other Arsenal goal scored by Bukayo Saka, and it looked like they were away and clear, they dominated the ball so much tonight, but Forrest through Taiwo Awani. A day of heady possibility, a day of just imagine, amid this frenzy, imagine if Arsenal 20 years since the last time, if Liverpool in pursuit of the utopian club climax, if either somehow could pull this thing off. Of course, we do have a classy champion, not easily to be deposed, but if anyone can, it is very likely one of these.
And Mikel Arteta needed no cajoling to offer his warm analysis of a departing rival. He recognises the enormous big-picture contribution of a rival he is now obliged to beat. Well played by David Rock. He's in Ari, and so is Martinelli. And Konate's work is cut out here. Martinelli oh. searing past him. Oh. And Sapper couldn't make telling contact. Season at Nice, a season at Marseille, and then it really began. Odegaard. Havertz is on his way here. Allison stops him. Sapper scores. Arsenal obliged. For them begins ideally. Here's Ravenberg, here's Diaz beyond Saliba and oh. Schotter watched it over the line. It's a mess of a goal. Gabriel may have had the telling touch in amongst a maelstrom of awfulness. This place has gone silent. Tight, let it bounce, Martinelli showed an interest, oh, no, 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 no. and Martinelli rolled it in! Curious, and for Liverpool, catastrophic. How can that happen? Look down and wonder, Liverpool introspection. Arsenal thrill. Trussard is free here, clear of Elliot. Leandro Trussard! You grin or your grimace. Jurgen Klopp disbelieving. How, how can that happen? Well, it's happened because his right back's been taken off and his right centre back's been sent off. Arsenal are right in the thick of it again. Suddenly, once more, Arsenal a principal contender as the wings of the Liverbird are clipped. In so many ways, a peculiar game. Saka gave Arsenal a lead. And after that, one curiosity followed another. A strange old goal, own goal right on half-time. Gabriel 1-1. And then Arsenal goals in the second half, which, based on experience and knowledge, seemed inconceivable. Confusion between Alisson and Van Dijk, of all people, for Martinelli to make it 2-1. And then Trossard between the legs of the imperious Allison for 3-1. And Arsenal are right on the shoulder of the leaders. Well, it remains to be seen if Arsenal will be the ultimate beneficiaries, but they certainly opened up the title race with their victory last week. And they take on a West Ham team who haven't been losing too many matches of late, but they have drawn one or two more than they would have liked. And then drifting forward. As Rice takes the kick and they have got it in! And it's William Saliba who wheels away in celebration! It's another corner leading to another Arsenal goal! Erdegaard, Saka's in! And it's one of those days where he just can't find the target. And Saka's made another run this time and the flag stays down. Bukayo Saka oh. is caught, it is a penalty! And what's the decision? It's a yellow card for the goalkeeper, Alphonse Ariola. It's Saka! It's 2-0! Arsenal tighten their grip. Determined that that victory against Liverpool would be just the start, not the end. For the first and sweeps in a free kick. It's dangerous. It's another one. Arsenal are wiping the floor with West Ham here. It's Gabriel who's got the third. 3-0. And we haven't even reached half time. Erdegaard. Trossard! It's four! Arsenal monopolising the ball. West Ham can't get anywhere near them. They play through them again. And these Arsenal fans are watching on in disbelief. This beyond their wildest expectations.
Well, I thought Arsenal would win today, I really did. Here's Rice. Now Odegaard. It's Bukayo Saka! It's a double for Saka! It's a humiliation for West Ham! Arsenal have put five past them! Well, he finds the gap between centre-half and left-back Emerson and just cuts inside into that space so easy. And hit brilliantly by who else? Declan Rice, who is restrained in his celebration of a sixth goal for Arsenal, but he's well and truly cut the cord with his former club now. Arsenal electrify the Premier League title race for the second week running. Last week, Mikel Arteta's team reigned in Liverpool. Today, they've cancelled out Manchester City's goal difference advantage. Declan Rice scoring against his former club to round off a remarkable performance against a dispirited and dishevelled West Ham United side. Saliba started it off. Gabriel scored as well. Two goals. Thanks, Owen. Arsenal's great recent run of form has them dreaming of the title again, but with only 14 matches left, it's a case of must win at uh, Turf Moor this afternoon. The third placed Gunners scoring 16 goals in their last four matches. So it is uh, Burnley who get this one started. Match day 25 in the English Premier League. Here is Rice. To carry it well over halfway, Martinelli will, uh, get a chance to run at Asignon. Pass to Odegaard, it's set up nicely, and that's a brilliant finish. Martin Odegaard has done it again. Scored on his last visit to Turf Moor. And he puts Arsenal in front inside five minutes. For Odegaard now. Roberts is uh, waiting to make his move. Trossard as well. Oh, he's taken down, and that will be a penalty. Asignon pleading his case, but he gets a yellow card. Oh, he just about gets there. It's 2-0 Arsenal, and Saka scores from the spot for the second week running. That's a right smile, Trafford's there. His left arm's there, looks like he's gone underneath it. It's a huge ask. There's Odegaard, and his pass inside for Saka. On his right foot, makes it three. Great start to the first half for Arsenal, and a great start to the second as well. What a guy. Nicely on for Kivio. Plenty of options. It's Havertz, it's Chossard, and it's third time lucky for him this half. Goal number four for Arsenal. Another easy one, another goal that was coming. Yeah. 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 They will have Arsenal that they could do some damage in that competition. Here's Kai Havertz through the legs and past the keeper. It's a five star show for Arsenal at Burnley. Well, he's cupping his ears and get ready for it, because here comes the Kai Havertz song from the Arsenal supporters, and it doesn't stop when it starts. So Arsenal impress again. Four different scorers, five goals. Saka getting two. Odegaard getting them started. And Saka getting his second right at the start of the second half. Trossard and Havertz on the score sheet as well for Arsenal. And Mikel Arteta knows each and every one of them is crucial. And there's Eddie Howe, who starts the night with 99 Premier League wins as a manager with Newcastle and with Bournemouth. The referee tonight is Paul Tierney and Peter Banks is the VAR. The pre-match atmosphere at the Emirates. Five points behind Liverpool who skip a league game this weekend. Behind City, who beat Bournemouth. It? There's the, the clock, the famous clock. Looking to lift one in here towards Bakayo Saka, and that's defended by Libramento. It's an Arsenal corner. All the runs go towards the near post. It's a free header. 
And it's in, is it? It is, it's yeah. a goal. Well, Gabriel was the player that got his head to the ball initially. He's the Arsenal player who's got to claim it, but it was so difficult to work out who got the final touch. Newcastle desperately trying to keep the ball out, but Arsenal scored their 18th set-piece goal of the season. Truth to be honest with you, he made a brilliant run forward. There's another excellent run forward by Martinelli from one side to the other, and he pulled it back, it's 2-0! Excellent Arsenal goal, made by a wonderful run and cross from Martinelli. It's a tap-in for Kai Havertz, and this is one-way traffic at the Emirates for the Gunners. No, not half. Another guard to Saka. Then he's got three around him, Bakayo Saka, which must leave space somewhere else. Saka getting to the byline and pulling it back! And Martinelli heads it over the bar. So they need to be better in the second half, but here come Arsenal. It's through to Havertz! Oh, it was brilliant approach play. It just needed the finish. The flag had stayed down, but they can't Newcastle open Havertz. again. Here's Martin Erdegaard. Played off by Declan Rice, Havertz now to Saka, Arsenal with plenty in red and white, Saka bursting in, twisting and turning and shooting, oh, it's gone right through! Bukayo Saka scores again, a young man who can't stop scoring in the Premier League, everything he touches turns to gold, Arsenal get a third, and Bukayo Saka gets his 16th goal of the season. Let's see what Rice can do from this one, near post he's gone again, he's glad started it's in! It's another set-piece goal, and this time it's Kibior who's celebrating. The architect again, Declan Rice. 19 goals and counting from set-pieces for Arsenal, and they lead Newcastle 4-0. Yeah. Arsenal's defenders and goalkeeper want to preserve the clean sheet. Dan Burn now can take over and clip it in, and they get one back. And it's a former Arsenal man who gets his name on the score sheet. It's Joe Willock. And there is just a smattering of applause from the Arsenal supporters to recognise the fact that one of their former players has scored here. The Newcastle fans ecstatic to get the consolation goal. And there is the full-time whistle, the celebration from the manager, a punch of the air, a high-five with his staff. That's exactly what he wanted to see tonight, Mikel Arteta. He has ultimate faith in his players as he walks along the touchline to shake hands with Eddie Howe and Jason Tindall, two men who will be absolutely devastated by what they've seen here tonight. Kivior got himself a goal, it turned out. Jorginho, they are working their way through rather easily, and Erdogan tucks it away, flying start for a side in full flight. In the fifth, their defence is already breached. Saka, trusty. And Saka eases past his man once more, and it's an own goal. At the back post, Arsenal can celebrate again, and Sheffield United crumbling again at home. Must be a booking referee playing advantage, and it's to Arsenal's advantage. Havertz, quite the finish, quite the first half for the Gunners. Martinelli, options left and right. Martinelli gets it back. Arsenal score again. We've not even played 15 minutes. Huge woes for Chris Wilder. Saka to pull it back. And Rice to make it five in the first half. And it's extraordinary even by Sheffield United's home standards this season. But for Arsenal, they've done it again away from home. Five goals in three consecutive Premier League matches away from home, at least. For Havertz, beautiful control. And the layoff to White. And the finish! Benjamin White. What a goal. And it is 6 0 to Arsenal away from home. And this is more than a humbling at home for Sheffield United. Arsenal ruthless, relentless and right on the toes of the top two. A sorry, sorry night for Sheffield United. Another thrashing at home. But Arsenal in charge all evening.